Hi, in this video I want to show you what you can do with uh, reaction arcs, those kinetic reactions that join nodes. So let's drop down some nodes. Okay, so I have three nodes here. They all get default names. Uh, let me join them up with some reactions. So down here I have all the different kinds of reactions ranging from uni-uni uh, uh, to bye-bye all the way to try try. So if I select one of these, select the uni uni, select the source node, the destination node, I get a reaction. Or let's pick uh, by uni, two source nodes, one destination node. Or let's pick, let's drop another node down, let's rearrange these slightly, and I'll do a, a by by. That's two source nodes, two destination nodes. Okay, now I can select these reactions like that just by clicking on them and you notice they all have control handles and these control handles I can use to change the shape of the arc. Uh, the more complicated reactions have more control handles, so for example it has, a, has this central one, has a central node which allows me to move it about, this one has a few even, a few, uh, even more. Okay, now if I don't like the Bezier curves I can turn them into straight lines by right clicking and selecting convert to straight line. Alright, now it's a straight line. I can do the same for these. Okay. Um, if I don't like straight lines, I don't like Bezier's, I can convert them to a segmented line. Okay, and I can get more complicated shapes like that. Or I can convert it back to the Bezier. Sometimes I might want to keep it as a Bezier, right? but I want to actually straighten it out but it's still a Bezier. Now if I move a node, of course the, the uh, arc changes shape, okay, and I can then re-straighten it out. If it's a straight line, of course, I don't have to worry about that, it's always the same. Now I can, the other things I can do, if I right click on this, I can obviously change the reaction name here, um, but often we'll go straight to the properties window, which is this fairly elaborate window here, which has three sections, the stoichiometry, kinetics, and one underneath here, we will show you in a minute, or display characteristics. But the top window lets me ch change the reaction name, say my reaction. And I know it'll have changed the reaction name because if I hover over the reaction you see now it's changed to my reaction. This also shows the current rate law in fact there as well and the parameter values. So down here I can change the, the um, reaction type. Let's say I change it to a reverse Michaelis Menten. It shows me the parameters down here which I can change and a, a rendering of the equation. If I hover over the reaction here you'll see now it's a Michaelis Menten. Okay. So if I hover over here you'll see the Michaelis Menten equation together with the um, rate constants. And I mean, now if I don't like any of these I can go to free format and type my own in if I, if I need to. Let's go back to there. I can close these. Oh, one other thing, the stoichiometry. I can change the stoichiometries for a particular reaction if I wish to uh, at this point. So I can just uh, select those. So let me just, um, oh, and final thing here, this button here lets me add uh, notes. But let me close that off at the moment and close that. I want to show you this display. So this display lets me change the colors for the arrows. For example, I might want to have a dark blue. Oops, I need to select the, select the reaction first. Dark blue, say, followed by a light blue. So now it's dark blue followed by light blue. Or I can thicken up, thicken up the line, um, display the reaction name on, on it, and so on. And this set as default allows me to set the default now to be this thickened line with a, a light blue arrow end for every reaction I draw, if, if that's what you want. I'll just close this. Okay, so that ends this uh, video on reaction arcs.